Hey learners, welcome back to my channel. I am Rupal Gupta. So I am back with another interview question. This question is very important and it has been asked in Amazon's BI engineer interview. So before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started. So guys, in this problem, we have an input table. The table contains the data for the telephone conversations happened between a caller and a receiver. So in this table, we have three columns caller receiver and duration so caller is a person who has made the call receiver is the person who has received the call and the duration column is representing the total time for which these two persons are speaking to each other right now we need to write an sql query to calculate the total duration of calls happened between two persons right for example abhay called bhanu and this they have spoken for five minutes similarly bhanu called abhay and they have spoken for 10 minutes so between these two persons the total duration will be 15 minutes right so now let's go to mysql workbench to see how we can write the solution so guys now we are at the mysql workbench and i have already created this telephone table against the input table that we have so now first of all let's write the basic select statement to fetch the data from this table let me mention the database name select star from telephone let's execute this we go. Okay. so guys we have this table we already have discussed the column and what kind of data it has now we have to find out the total duration for which calls have been happened between two persons right so now at the first glance it seems to be a simple group by problem where we can group our, group by our data with respect to caller and receiver to find out the sum of duration right but that is not the case. Let me show you if we just simply use group by for caller and receiver, what we'll be getting. So select caller receiver sum of duration from telephone group by. So let's execute this. See. So if we are just using simply group by so what we are getting we are getting abhay bhanu abhay is the caller bhanu is the receiver and they have spoken for 15 minutes but in other case where bhanu has is the caller and he has called to abhay they have spoken for 35 minutes now i want to write an sql query where this part will be considered as a one record right i want to calculate the total duration for which abhay and bhanu have spoken irrespective of who is the caller and who is the receiver right so for that we need to use horizontal sorting so guys first of all let's understand what is horizontal sorting so horizontal sorting is whenever you want to sort your data in the horizontal direction now why do we need to apply horizontal sorting here let's understand that so in this case you can see we are trying to apply group by for abhay and bhanu right but what is happening for some of the records, Abhay is the uh, caller and for some of the records, Bhanu is the caller. So that is the issue that we are facing here. We can't group by because the caller is different. So now, if we are able to modify our data in such a manner that for all the calls happened between Abhay and Bhanu or Bhanu and Abhay, we can bring Abhay at the one side and Bhanu at the other side. That is, we can horizontally sort our data, then grouping can be applied here. So let me show you how we can do that. So guys, now let's create two more columns where the data is sorted in the horizontal manner. So select star comma uh, case when caller is less than receiver then caller else receiver. And as I'll, I'm calling this column as person one. Similarly, case when caller is greater than receiver then caller else receiver and as person 2 so guys here what i am doing i am sorting this data in the horizontal direction so it will check if the caller is less than receiver then it will be giving me caller in the first column that is person 1 similarly if receiver is smaller than caller, then we will be getting receiver. So basically, I am sorting it. So whosoever person's name is coming earlier than the other person, 
we are getting it in the first column that is person 1. Similarly, I have created another column that is person 2 in which I am putting the caller or receiver or the person's name which is which comes later in the sorting order, right? So let me execute this from telephone. See, so in our previous table, we are getting Abhay Banu, Abhay Banu, Banu, Abhay Banu, Abhay. But I have created these two columns, person 1 and person 2. So now focus on the third and fourth record. Here we have Banu and Abhay. So Banu is the caller and Abhay is the receiver. Now I have sorted this data in such a manner that Abhay is coming in the first column and Banu is coming in the second column. That is, I have horizontally sorted this data, right? Now we can apply grouping here. So let me use it as a sub query. So select I want person one comma person two comma nine. Now I want to sum the duration. So I'll be summing the duration duration and I'm calling it as total duration from. So I am using this as the sub query. Let me rename it. Now I can apply group by. So now I want to group by with respect to person 1 and person 2. So group by person 1 comma person 2. So now let's execute this to see the output. See. So Bhanu and Abhay have spoken for 50 minutes in total. Irrespective of who is the caller and who is the receiver. Similarly we are getting Abhay Dev, Chinmay Dev, all the possible combinations and we are getting the total duration for which these two persons have spoken to each other so guys we have learned how we can apply horizontal sorting so this concept is very important if you are appearing for any uh, fang interview or any other product based companies interview you can expect question based on this concept so it is really very interesting and helpful so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it don't forget to hit the like button and if you want more videos like this don't forget to subscribe the channel